Want to impress your friends with a $20 bottle of wine? I've got one for you next on $20 Tuesday. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of $20 Tuesday. I'm Justin Solomon with WineFascination.com and I've got an incredible bottle of wine for you today that'll be sure to impress your family or your friends next time that you need to take a bottle of wine to dinner. Today I'm featuring the 2014 Edmeads Mendocino County Zinfandel. Zinfandel is a very interesting grape. Quite frankly, it got a really, really bad rap whenever the whole white Zinfandel trend came out. However, the true Zinfandel is, is an incredible grape, traditionally a grape from Croatia. This variety offers a, a great wide spectrum of fruit forward flavors that are sure to impress anyone and it's quite frankly one of those grapes that I would consider as a great starter uh, variety whenever it comes to starting out drinking. Now what's very interesting about this is that California grows great Zinfandel. Being the fourth most grown grape varietal in California, there's a lot of history behind it. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and crack this open. off the bat as soon as I poured this wine I was hit right in the nose with a great powerful fruit forward nose it's very interesting because it literally just hit the glass and it and it just came up and, and smacked me in the face which is which is really cool as I look at this wine I see a beautiful purple it trails off into a garnet um, she definitely shows a little bit of aging on the wine. Um, the the tearing and the viscosity is is definitely heavy, and you know that is an indication to me that this is going to be a very 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 high alcohol wine. Now that doesn't always mean that, but to to first look at it, it if I was blind tasting this, I would say, okay, yeah, this is going to warm my chest just a little bit. Uh, but again, beautiful thick tears, and I think that, oh yeah, this is this is definitely going to pack a punch. It's at a, uh, this Zinfandel is 15.5% alcohol. So I'm, I'm really excited to get into this. This is also, to me, anything like that is going to be a great winter wine as well. Right as soon as I put my nose into the glass, I get that that interesting um, black fruit, black jammy fruit, um, specifically blackberry. I also get, it, it's like, so when I was a kid, I was obsessed with prunes. I don't know why. Um, my grandparents had them around the house all the time and I would eat them like candy. So that definitely, this nose reminds me of the, of the, the prunes I used to eat when I was a kid. It's, it's got a, a, a fresh strawberry, a ripe strawberry note. Also a little bit of stone fruit, interestingly enough. Sort of like a, a peach, an overripe peach, um, super sweet peach. Not indicating that this is a sweet wine at all, that's just what I'm getting on the nose. It's also got a, um, a spice, like a baking spice, which will indicate a little bit of, of oak, um, whether it be new or old, I, I can't really tell right now. I'm not getting a lot of, of vanilla or coconut, which would indicate um, if, it's, if it's definitely forward, um, it would indicate a, a new oak. Um, I'm not getting that, I'm getting more of a, of, a, of a nutmeg or a cinnamon, and maybe even a little bit of like a cigar tobacco. Let's go ahead and give it a give it a taste. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's very fruit forward. It goes from fruit to fruitier. You know, whenever I talk about old world versus new world wines, this is you know, if I'm looking at the label, this is definitely a new world wine. But whenever you talk about a new world wine, and this isn't always 
right. However, I, I would say the majority of the time it is. The interesting thing about New World wines is it starts out fruity and then gets even fruitier and old world wines will actually start out fruity in a lot of situations and then get tart and that's just the the terroir the the location it's grown in and also the the wine style or the winemaking style that uh the that the the vineyard and the and the winemaker chose to have this wine is really really tannic it, it's it's drying like as soon as it hits my tongue it's drying my mouth out i would say that it's a me it's a medium plus to high tannin wine i would say that the acid is actually not as as strong you know i'm I, on the aftertaste i'm getting a little bit of saliva buildup in my mouth which indicates that there is acid there however the tannin is definitely forward in winning that battle so i would say that this is a high tannin wine a medium to medium plus acidity oh yeah it, it's definitely burning in the chest you can tell that it's a 15 and a half to 16 um, percent alcoholic wine however you know it's it's very balanced this is this is definitely a, a a great representation of Zinfandel because everything seems to be in check uh, as it's as it's uh, forming the body and the and and the flavors in your mouth I would I would highly recommend this wine um, you know whenever we're talking about food pairings the the first thing that I went to would be uh, Greek food you know Greek food has a little bit of cinnamon um, not a lot of spice, but definitely cinnamon in it. I would pair this with a lot of different varieties of Greek food, uh, you know, especially like lamb kebabs. This would be perfect for lamb kebabs. I would also say that, you know, a Moroccan or Turkish dish would be great. Not not something that's spicy unless you really want the, the, the spices to to set your mouth on fire, if you will, because I think that the cinnamon notes in this wine will actually trigger even more of that spice. So I would say that the, the cinnamon side of a Turkish or a Moroccan dish would be perfect for this wine. So my final conclusion on this wine is it's a thumbs up, definitely. Um, I got this for $16.99, and I'll leave the link below. Um, you can get it anywhere from $14.99 to, unfortunately, for some of the higher tax states, $21.99. But this really encompasses that $20 Tuesday mentality where it's got great value in the bottle, well-made, well-structured, well-balanced, and uh, you know, this is sure to impress just about anybody that you put it in, uh, in front of. Got any questions? comments or recommendations on which wine you want to see next on $20 Tuesdays, leave a comment below and hit that subscribe button below. Thanks for watching $20 Tuesdays. We'll see you next week.